Okay, so since it is time, we'd like to begin. So this is the last uh, casual track session for today. So at this casual track, Kyoto Fukuoka, the engineer working on these two areas, the reason why they have selected outside of Tokyo, the attractiveness and also the hardships. So us, all of us, are working in Fukuoka and Kyoto, uh, in terms of living in those cities and the actual works involved, we would like to share the real life story of our experiences. Maybe in terms of line development hub, having in Fukuoka and Kyoto, many of you may not have known that we have those developing hub. So in terms of well, how we work and what are the city, of course, environment that we live in, we'd like to uh, shed light on those issues if possible. So going on to the next slide, please. So very briefly, could uh, we have everyone introduce themselves? Okay, thank you. So today, there are two speakers. So Miyota-san from Kyoto, and also Hiroyama-san uh, from Fukuoka, and myself working as a moderator for the session. So going to the next page. So Miyota-san, can you introduce yourself, please? Hello, thank you for having me today. I am from Kyoto Developer. My name is Miyota, thank you very much. And uh, belonging to a Kyoto Development team, uh, some of the uh, bits, uh, pro programs and initiative, I manage the overall development uh, from Kyoto. So we'll join online. It's been about five years now. And uh, after joining in line or even before, the large scale consumer uh, internet uh, company I was working uh, in and developer enterprise uh, oriented uh, product was what I was in charge in, in development. So in terms of Kyoto office, since I was uh, working in Kyoto office 2018, uh, two years uh, moving to Kyoto. In terms of before coming to Kyoto office, about 2.5 years, I was working in headquarters in Shinjuku uh, in uh, line. Well, when I joined in line, it used to be uh, the office was in Shibuya. And now from Kyoto, uh, Tokyo office, as you can see on the slide, login, SDK, API gateway, the the typical sort of a platform product for developers was what I was in charge in. And then afterwards, about two uh, plus years ago, due to uh, uh, family issues and because of my life stage, at that time, uh, there was a new inception of Kyoto office. So I decided to move to Kyoto office. So that is how I got myself involved in the Kyoto development office. So. Afterwards, I would like to introduce the Kyoto uh, office uh, is in charge of the various different products. I'm not overseeing everything, but myself. Uh, in terms of fintech, backend, I'm focusing on those areas of the segment uh, in having a wide and also, in a way, shallow uh, management of our development. Well, thank you very much, Miyota-san. So, Miyota-san, so you have your home in uh, Kyoto, and what you refer to as U-turn, going back to your hometown, right? You're selecting Kyoto. That's right. So next slide, please. Okay. So following me, Fukuhoka Hirayama-san. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I am working in Fukuoka at the moment. My name is Hirayama. Thank you very much for having me on, on this uh, discussion. So I'm a front-end uh, development team. I'm managing this front-end development. And I belong to Nagasaki Prefecture. And then university in the graduate school, I was living in Fukuoka for a total of uh, six, six years or so. And then uh, I decided to work uh, in Tokyo as a, as a startup company after graduating from my uh, graduate school and then we came back to Fukuoka. So I had a quite vague idea of coming back to Fukuoka. And so uh, because of my coincidence of having me able to work in Fukuoka, I decided to come back to Fukuoka. So when I was 27, 28 years of age, I decided to change my job. And the weight of my business was quite heavy. But I thought this would be a plus and positive for my career. So that is the reason why I decided to move to Fukuoka. I was single then, but with my partner. I decided to come to Fukuoka, and uh, that's how I work here today in Fukuoka. So I hope that we'll be able to talk on this issues today. So thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much, Hirayama-san. So you had a partner, so meaning you got married, is that correct? Yes, yes, okay. I see, yes, safely, yes, thank you, congratulations. Okay, thank you. So Hirayama-san, 
So you originally really from uh, Nagasaki Prefecture, but your university years was in Fukuoka. So you liked Fukuoka. So you went to get a job in Tokyo, but you decided to come back to Fukuoka. That's right. That's right. So there are many people with that kind of background, I believe. Yes. Okay. So going on to the next slide, this is my self-introduction. Well, Line Fukuoka. Uh, and my name is uh, Nita. I'm a senior manager here. And uh, originally, I had no relationship whatsoever with Fukuoka. But when I was 32 years of age, I used to live in Tokyo till 32 years of age, and I was a web engineer. And eight years ago, I got married. We had a family. And um, Tokyo is a lot of hardship to rear your child. So my a wife's uh, original hometown is next to Fukuoka Prefecture, and it's a nice environment to have our children grow. So without doing a lot of research, I decided to move to Fukuoka. Quite simple. And line Fukuoka did not exist then. In 2014, that Fukuoka was developed or start, had, uh, was established, yeah, I thought it was a wonderful company. That is the reason why I decided to join in uh, line Fukuoka. And now since then, it's seventh years now uh, for me. And all my family, they all like living in Fukuoka. So for now, we believe I still will be residing in Fukuoka uh, for a while now. So these are the three members offering this special session. So thank you very much. Thank you. So moving on to the next slide. OK, so today. So each of the attractiveness of the city, there are great, of course, avid fan of Kyoto and avid fan of Fukuoka. So tell me about the attractiveness. And then in terms of, again, introducing back to, to your development team, and then we would like to have a free talk at the end. So again, Miyota-san, so what is the attractiveness of Kyoto for you? So please. Well, thank you. So can you? show the slide. Oh, today, Live Dev Day 2020, not only in Japan, but we have a lot of listeners from overseas as well. So maybe a, many of you may not know much about it. So I would like to introduce about Kyoto from zero base, from scratch, in other words, as you can see on the pictures, as you may know. Uh, so. It's a city, an old capital of Japan that has 1,200 year plus uh, history. A lot of, of course, cultural assets and heritages. Not that alone. The city landscape and also the residential area, we still have the old legacy that is being kept, and that landscape is still there. And it's been surrounded by uh, the mountain three ways. So uh, in other words, it's cold and also warm as well. But when you drive a few uh, minutes, you would have abundance of natural uh, resources. So people here in Japan, uh, because of uh, the COVID, people are going to outside sort of activities. But it's a good place to do so. So not as a tourism spot and not as a sort of a Japan heritage background. But in terms of the population of Kyoto, it's number one in terms of ratio of student. About 6% of the total population in Kyoto are students. So as you can see, very well-known academia and research institute, university resides in this area in Kyoto. And around the people, many of you know, well, Kyoto. There are Japanese uh, company enterprises that represent Japan, starting from Kyoto. So in terms of R&D, uh, has a lot of history and track record uh, for launching new uh, research results. So linking that back to, with uh, business, um, what I personally like, well, I, I'm here. I'm, this is my hometown. So I, it's, I know much about it, but let's say that. In spring and autumn, it's the best season for tourism. Many tourists come here for spring and fall. Last week in fall, the city about increases of the population by 30 to 50 percent because there's so many tourists during the fall. But when you sort of walk around, you have a spot of serenity, a very silent place where you can change your mindset or maybe really think. So it's a place that you can really, really enjoy the serenity and have being able to be mindful about yourself. 
and Japan. I mean, see four seasons. Uh, there, of course, uh, spring uh, and also uh, in the summer and fall and winter. But uh, in terms of uh, we have the Cherry Blossom uh, Festival and also uh, we have the hot summer at the same, the same time, the tr trees are turning colors. So not that alone. It's been surrounded by mountains three ways. So we have abundance of good food. So season by season, the four seasons, each have these delicacies. So you can cook and you can enjoy and you can change your feeling. And that also is another area of attractiveness. So with that being said, in terms of the serenity and also the busyness and the four season, there are a lot of different dimensions which you can switch from one environment to the next environment. And that, I think, is what I like about Kyoto. Thank you. Next. So thank you very much, Miyota-san. So as you say, sometimes I go to Kyoto on business trip, but not this year, unfortunately. Well, Kyoto has quite a lot of different faces. We have a great contrast. Some where it's busy, some where it's quite serene at temples, so we can really focus, we can concentrate. There are many research and development institutions, as you say. I think now we understand why. Well, so next is uh, Fukuoka turn. So maybe Hirayama-san, would you please talk about the attractiveness of Fukuoka city? Well, prior to that, Sorry. So Fukuoka City, uh, let me actually explain where Fukuoka City is, and um, I will explain the Fukuoka City itself. Well, there are some audience from other countries, not in Japan, but uh, Fukuoka City, uh, you may not know about Fukuoka City itself. So uh, maybe uh, some of the information might be new to even Japanese. First of all, Fukuoka City is far down to the west from Tokyo, so it is 1,100 kilometers away from Kyoto. Fukuoka City is in Kyushu region, so it's uh, in a different island from Tokyo. To uh, Fukuoka City has 1.6 million population, so it is a national strategic zone. and uh, uh, We have a national strategic zone for startups. And I think uh, they are now positioned as the startup's um, strategic zone. So it's really easier uh, for uh, startups to build. So maybe they can get the tax benefits. Or there is a co-working space in the center of the city where startups or entrepreneurs come. Well, maybe they can actually share bicycles, or maybe they can actually share the umbrellas using line. So it is a friendly city for the startup company. In Fukuoka, uh, is uh, well, Line Fukuoka and also the the city people in Fukuoka City Hall. Uh, jointly formed st smart city strategy. So uh, they are trying to enable the uh, citizens to use line for their convenience. So now, Hirayama-san, would you please talk about how attractive this uh, Fukuoka city is? Thank you. Well, uh, people say Fukuoka as a compact city. So as you see on these pictures, uh, this is the Hakata or Tenzin areas. And uh, maybe you can uh, walk uh, maybe for 40 minutes to go from one location to the other. So it's quite compact. And uh, the airport is quite close. So from Hakata to the airport, it's about five minutes. Currently, I'm living in Tenzin area, but uh, I can actually see airplane taking off or landing, and also on, uh, above my house, there are airplanes. Also, the meals are quite cheap, and also maybe the rent is also cheaper. And I really feel that way since I used to live in Tokyo. Thank you. Well, thank you. So I think uh, the cost of living is uh, lower than uh, the one in Tokyo. I think uh, people all say that. It's uh, cheaper to live in Fukuoka when you compare the cost 
against Tokyo. So maybe now you understand how attractive these cities are. So let me talk about the organizations. So Miyoto-san, uh, would you please elaborate on Line Kyoto office? Yes, please. The slide, next slide, please. Yes, Line Kyoto office. Uh, this is the current office in Kyoto. Uh, and uh, it will be we will be celebrating the third year anniversary uh, after we established. This is a second office for us. We actually move in the last fall, and the one in right is the one in front, and also the left hand side is an open space. It's a break room, and. Uh, I uh, think uh, we have uh, like uh, conference rooms and also the working space in our office. Well, currently we have about 30 engineers in our line Kyoto office, and out of which we have uh, several people who are dedicated to the back office. But other than those people, we have all engineers. Well. We also have uh, people from different nationalities and different countries. Maybe a little bit over 50% is Japanese, and the remainders are from overseas. So maybe a little bit less than 50% is the non-Japanese. Well, the areas which we are engaged in our development, maybe we have four or five major pillars, and each team is comprising of three to maybe over 10 people. Well, today and tomorrow, I think uh, there will be some announcements, but uh, line developers, well, we have the platform for line developers, or maybe you see the VELDA, so it's uh, infrastructure. So maybe the ones which are not related to the services are uh, Involve, involving the line office Kyoto. But now uh, line bank and also the my can and also Clova, uh, those are R&D, our development, uh, those area is another big area for our investment. Maybe one of the unique features or characteristic about uh, line Tokyo is uh, there's no business or planning divisions in Kyoto office. And we do not plan to place for uh, for the coming few years. So the engineers have to communicate with the business side or product management people. But uh, uh, we already have uh, had the good collaboration uh, with those people from the beginning of our office in Kyoto. So maybe the product management and also business side collaboration. It's not just the engineer's skills, but we do have the other capabilities. We have uh, quite a senior people who have the capable capabilities so that uh, we can have the collaboration with business side as well as PM or product management. We used to have those talents. And uh, sometimes, yes, uh, we are uh, hiring from the outside, or uh, we are now seeing some of those members from line inside or within to really develop the capabilities. So I guess uh, we have a uh, quite a good team. Um, and uh, for the last two years, uh, I feel that uh, we have built the great capabilities within Kyoto. Although I don't have a slide today, but uh, as I mentioned, well, the Kyoto is the city which has a lot of students, as I mentioned. So uh, maybe uh, having that l aspect, we are focusing on the summer internship program. Uh, two months ago, we just finished the this year's summer internship program. Well, uh, students really liked the program. So even though we already finished this year's internship program, we already started to discuss for the next year's program. So that's kind of a unique 
characteristic about the Kyoto office. Thank you. Well, yes, Kyoto. Uh, we heard that Kyoto has a lot of students, and uh, we are moving into the winter season. But you already ha you are already talking about the internship program for the coming summer. That's really surprising. So next is uh, Hirayama-san. Would you please talk about the line Fukuoka office? Yes. Let me explain line Fukuoka. Next slide, please. Well, as you see, this is our office. Line Fukuoka uh, is celebrating the seventh year anniversary, and we have over 1,000 uh, people. And when it comes to the development team, we have over 90 engineers. And uh, I think uh, now we are going to hit the 100 uh, engineers in our development team soon. Accordingly, we have uh, now we are able to be engaged in the large scale projects such as a stamp shop or maybe the creator's market, creator's studio line. Uh, arcade or survey, and also line securities, which is in the area of fintech. And um, the attractiveness, rather specifically Fukuoka, the biggest taking strength is a similar level of career or work could be done uh, in Fukuoka on par with Tokyo as well. But having said that, Tokyo and Fukuoka, when you compare the population, uh, there are limits to the uh, common denominator of engineers. So we are quite proactive in hiring non-Japanese people. And that, I think, is the attractiveness and uniqueness of Fukuoka. In my department, the overseas members, uh, there are 13, 11 people out of 13 people, very high ratio. So the culture diversity and language diversity uh, we are always being stimulated. And just as a side note, the exchange of the engineer, many of the time we use English. So that's, I think, is another stimulus that uh, for us all working in this team. And moving on to the next slide. And looking at the organization, as you can see, many organizations are residing within developing development team. The, all the functions are on par with uh, what's available in Tokyo as well. And in Fukuoka size, we can offer the same function. Nita-san, can you add on what I just have said? Well, I think that about 100 people we are aiming for for the number of engineers, and we have high dedicated expertise. And it's quite rare for us with the size of organization, highly uh, dedicated. And going coming to Fukuoka from the metropolitan areas, it seems as though people may think that you cannot select on what you want to do. But in terms of Nine Fukuoka, there's no concern as such. In the past, the, all the uh, expertise and skill that you're nurtured in Tokyo, you can bring it over as it is, in, and you can leverage those uh, experiences and expertise in Dain Fukuoka. And that, I think, is another benefit. Yes. So each of the organization at this point, I think you have a better image of what we do in each of these two locations. Oh, there are several comments. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're happy to get these comments. Yes, really happy. Thank you. So why don't we go to the next slide? So from here onwards, uh, two of the speakers. Uh, thank you very much for your contribution, but uh, I'm a moderator, but I would like to participate as one speaker. And three of us can talk about several topics and that uh, we have prepared several topics. So we will be able to select uh, on that and have a free discussion. Okay. so. Uh, can we go to the next slide, please? So there are about six bullet points, but due to time constraints, we may not be able to cover everything. So let us uh, select out of these bullet points. The very top. Well, Hirayama-san, I think this is what you submitted. So yes, why don't you, yes, allude on this area. Yes. Myself, I have not going through this experience, and it's a rather private issue. But Kyoto and Fukuoka, if you have your family there and move to these uh, new areas, what is the environment in rearing your child? And I wanted to hear a sort of a story. Miyota-san, can I start? Oh, me? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, yes. 
for me, before joining line, the company I worked、uh, for as a new grad, it was in to- Tokyo, and I lived in Yokohama. So, Yokohama commuting to Tokyo, that was my life. And in, within that, children and child, if you have a child, the commuting by train, it was quite difficult for me. And nursery schools, and I couldn't find a good nursery school. There are a lot of issues, and I see. So, my, when I, my child was two years old, we decided to move to Kyoto. But you can walk, you can take a bus, and everything is convenient in your walking radius. Or, and you don't have to ride a train anymore. And surprisingly, nursing school was found quite easily. So, regarding your child, Well, I was living in Yokohama and only comparing、uh, Yokohama and Kyoto, very limited comparison, but I think it's very good. That's、uh, my image. And thank you. And between your office and your home, the distance is much, much shorter. So、uh, people live around the office vicinity in Kyoto. So if the children have a fever or are feeling sick and picking up your children the, from nursery school, it easily could be done. It's easy here. And that,、uh, in terms of flexible time usage, also is quite beneficial. And moving to Kyoto, I now have more time to spend with my family now. That's my impression. I see. Thank you very much. So, Nita san, how did you feel? Well, truly, yes. It's a situation quite、uh, similar with Kyoto in Fukuoka as well. But I must say, rearing child in Tokyo was a lot of burden. That was the biggest reason why I decided to move to Fukuoka. So, coming to Fukuoka now, the surprise was that the commuting time, the stress, is much, much less. So, like Miyota san, my, children, my child was two years old when I came to Fukuoka. And,、uh, Commuting, you don't have to ride a train. You can go anywhere without riding a train. So, the buggies, if you can press, push the buggies, it's wide, you know, street and pedestrian deck, so it's easy to have and then push your, the, the buggies with your child. And the company is in the walking distance from my home. So, in the morning with my child, I come to the front of the elevator of the office and we, we, we wave goodbye. And my, my wife takes my child home. So it's really in Tokyo. That's some of an experience that never could have been achieved in Tokyo. So that I think was a benefit. Well, thank you very much for that. So, next question which, which one do we need to go next? The second point. Okay. So, Miyota san, was this、uh, Miyota san, the size of the、uh, organization?、Um, there's also a, a question posted from the audience, so why don't go, we go with the second bullet then? Yes. Well, when I was responsible or involved from the initial inception of this Kyoto office and growing the organization, so that is the reason why it concerned me. But Fukuoka office, When you joined in the Fukuoka office, how many engineers, what's the size, and how much have you grown? So, the structure of the organization, how has that changed? I wanted to hear that story. Well,、uh, I joined in for the initial year, the first year. So, same experience with Miyota san. It was like a baseball team, maybe smaller than being able to comprise a baseball team, even. And we started off from that end. So, I think same experience with you, Miyota san. So, Hirayama san, I think you joined in. So, Hirayama san, I think it's a good question to ask you because you joined in the middle.、Uh, I may not be the accurate number, but when I joined in, that was 3.5 years ago, three and a half years ago. The number of engineers was about 50 to 60 people then. And so, therefore, in three, it's a three and a half years, and now it's the seventh year now. So, I think the trajectory of the growth is similar to Kyoto as well. I see. 
So at that time, the front end engineers and the back end and the mobile, the engineers have now decided to split into each of the area. And the organization has uh, started to branch off into different expertise then, I think. Yes. So, actuality, well, actually, well, Miyota-san, anything that you, any takeaway for you, uh, listening to what you have said, well, the pace of growth, the number of uh, people, how we have grown, and that's the area that I could learn from you. So, Hirayama-san, when you joined in, three and a half years, it's increased uh, to double about 50 people to 100 people, right? Yes, that's right. I see. So, Hirayama-san, when you joined in, I remember you vividly when you joined in the company. So, moving from Tokyo to Fukuoka, very few people. So, it struck me as something that's uh, memorable. So, it seems as though the company has really evolved to the point that we can attract people even from Tokyo. So, I was very happy to have you in our team. But maybe one more question. So, okay. So, maybe third from the bottom, maybe? So, resolve the information gap between Tokyo and your area? Uh, in the career from the metropolitan areas. And uh, already, so working, leaving behind, working from the metropolitan area and moving to different places. Uh, this is a second bullet form from the bottom. So did you feel a loss that you now are not in the metropolitan area? What about you, Hirayama-san? Yes. OK. Well. When I was 27 or 28 years old, I moved to Fukuoka. So I guess I was really thinking that the weight on work is getting bigger and bigger. And uh, in terms of the breadth of the career, I did not really feel there was a breadth of career. And uh, uh, there were some uh, opportunity for me. So that's why I was looking at that situation in positive way. But uh, yes, uh, moving to Fukuoka may narrow down my opportunities. When we are going to transfer the jobs, well, of course, it's more than before. But uh, maybe the same stance, same size of the companies. How many of those companies have offices in Fukuoka? Not many. So. If uh, you move to Fukuoka, uh, there uh, maybe uh, there could be some mismatch. That could be one uh, possibility. What about you, Miyoto-san, in Kyoto? Well, so today we have developers stay. Well, I think. Uh, Developer community, including external to line, well, I think uh, the size is less in Kyoto uh, compared against Tokyo, compared against even Fukuoka. So, as you mentioned, Hirayama san, uh, the, uh, maybe the industry sectors could be limited. Well, so that's why maybe it may narrow down your opportunity to see other people face to face. But uh, now we have all their meetings virtually and uh, maybe obtaining the information. Well, I feel less uh, information divide. Well, maybe uh, because we are uh, working for internet company, so we believe in the capability or power of internet. So how we are going to collect and get the information is the key. Also, uh, maybe uh, just like Fukuoka, but just like in Kyoto, looking at the uh, line offices, we always have shortage in people or talents. So whoever volunteers, 
really get the project. So there are so many functions which we have to engage. So if we, it's a big office, maybe even though you are volunteering, you may not be assigned with the specific project. Maybe that does not happen in local cities. So maybe if you are trying to be involved in the project, which is a little bit higher than your competency, you still can get the job. You still can get the assignment. So that would be a great opportunity. Well, I feel the same way. Line in Fukuoka, uh, as you saw the organization chart of Fukuoka office, we have a lot of different functions. But uh, we were able to build the structure because people in Fukuoka office wanted to volunteer to do a certain jobs. It's not something that the management is going to place the organization. So we can always challenge the new career career within a line. So maybe that could be the advantage in working for local offices. Well, we have some disadvantages, but we have advantages as well. Maybe uh, that's a really good line culture. Whoever raise your hands, uh, that is the person who is going to be assigned with that specific job. Well, yes, I, I feel I feel so, yes. I think the same way. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of uh, different questions received, and uh, but um, maybe we may have to close the session. So uh, that's all for the free discussion part. Well, we try to answer to the questions, posted questions. So when this is archived, you can check the answers. So please check the answers when this is archived. So it was really a uh, time really lies. So today, uh, you know, as engineers, both in Fukuoka and in Kyoto, we actually live and work as engineers. I hope that you get the tips uh, for working in local cities. Well, we also have the uh, SAPLO office for line technologies. So we are trying to really have the great opportunity as personal lives as well as having the great career or professional lives. And I think if you have a good balance between these two, you will lead the happy engineering life. So with that, uh, this is the end of the casual truck. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.